In this video, I'm tackling a question that's more relevant than ever. Why does everyone, and I mean everyone, including businesses, absolutely need a NAS? By the end of this video, you'll be wondering how you ever lived without one. And so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. All right, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a NAS? NAS stands for Network Attached Storage, but don't let the technical term or name scare you off. Imagine it as your own personal cloud right at your home or in your office. It allows any device on your network to access files from one central location. No more searching through different drives or wondering which laptop or phone has that one document. Everything is accessible from one place and you can control who gets access to these files. But it's not just about convenience. Let's talk about security here. We've all heard horror stories about cloud services being hacked or their privacy policies changing overnight. With the NAS, you're in control of your data. Your data stays in your home or office, safe and sound and not floating around somewhere in the cloud. And for business owners out there, this isn't just luxury, it's essential. Collaborating on projects become a breeze. For example, we can all work on the same project in the studio here simultaneously. While my editor handles, say, the video cuts, I'm working on the audio or color grading, all accessing the same files without copying them back and forth. It's seamless and saves us tons of time. Plus, with automatic backups to your NAS, you can say goodbye to that sinking feeling when your computer crashes. Your data isn't trapped on one device, it's safely stored on the NAS. Another thing I do is use the NAS to backup photos from my smartphones. Everything just syncs right onto the NAS. I'm not worried if I lose my phone because the memories are still there. Note, I don't have to pay for cloud services to rent their storage. I can use these NASes to store my photos. Now, I know what you might be thinking. What if my NAS fails? Do I lose everything? Not if you follow the 3 to one rule, the golden rule of data protection. And here's how it works. You're keeping three copies of your data and you store them on two different devices and at least one copy is stored off-site. Off-site could also mean the cloud. A NAS is perfect for this strategy. It helps you manage backups, ensuring that your data remains safe even if one device fails. Now let's talk a bit about Bayes. When you hear NAS users mention Bayes, they're just talking about the slots where you insert your drives. A two bay NAS can hold up to two drives, while a four bay NAS can hold up to four drives and so on. The more the base, the more storage you can have. And you can also set up RAID configurations for better performance or redundancy. Speaking of RAID, without going too deep, RAID or redundant array of independent disks allows you to combine multiple drives into a single system. RAID 1, for example, mirrors your data across two drives for redundancy. RAID 5 and 6 give you this redundancy and more storage space, but require more drives. It's getting a little too technical here, but that isn't what this video is all about. Anyway, your NAS will help you set this up, the RAID configurations, based on your needs, balancing performance and data protection. So you shouldn't be worried about this. Let me show you how I implement all these, the three to one backup strategy and a few examples of NAS devices we have here at the studio. The first one is our custom build server. A few years ago, we built a custom NAS server and it's been the backbone of our studio. We use TrueNAS for our main editing storage here and it's a 12 bay NAS and that's also populated with 20 terabyte drives. You don't need to build your own NAS though. You can buy pre-built devices that are simple to set up. Second one here is the Synology DS920 Plus. This device backs up our custom NAS, so if anything happens to that server, the data is already duplicated here. It's ideal for small businesses or families with growing storage needs. Now the Teramaster F4 Max, which serves as our off-site backup, which is part of the 3 2, 1 strategy, is a crucial layer of protection for everything we do in the studio. I don't have it here in the studio and that's because it's at home at the offsite backup. By the way, you don't need all these to start. You can start with something as little as the Synology DS120J, this one bay NAS. This is a budget-friendly NAS which supports just one drive. It's perfect if you're looking to get started with NASes and want something simple and affordable. If you want to take things up a notch, the Terramaster F8 Plus is an all SSD NAS, the M.2 type, that's lightning fast and perfect for moving big files quickly. If you're a video editor or dealing with large data sets, this one's a game changer. Now, why go for a NAS over an external drive? The benefits are clear. With a NAS, you get more space, redundancy, and the ability to access your files from anywhere on the network. You're not constantly plugging and unplugging drives, and you don't have to worry about a single drive failing and losing everything. I know some of you might be thinking that sounds 
really cool, but I'm not a tech genius. The good news here is that modern NAS systems are super user-friendly. And if you can set up a social media account, you can set up a NAS. It's really that simple. And if you need a little guidance, I've got plenty of videos that can walk you through the setup. So whether you're a family trying to organize thousands of photos and videos, or a small business managing client files, or just someone who values their data, a NAS isn't just a cool gadget, it's a necessity. In a world where data loss can happen at any moment, being prepared isn't overkill, it's just smart. Think of a NAS as your digital insurance policy. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And if this video saved you from your future data disasters, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button for more tech tips that actually make sense. Until next time, keep your data safe and organized with a NAS. Also, YouTube thinks you love this video here. I'ma catch you in the next one. Who eat that thing?